Roblox can be a really really fun game to play. The problem is it doesn't always work as expected. My name is Adullah. You're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're looking at how you can fix authentication issues when trying to log into Roblox. Now the first thing that you have to do is uh, try ending all Roblox processes in the task manager and then restarting the game. Now to do this press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and click on the task manager option right there. Now we will start in the processes tab and I will just lock the names here so that it becomes easy and then in this list just scroll until you find any and all Roblox processes so there are no processes running at the moment because I don't have the game active but generally when you run the game there are a couple of Roblox processes that will run in the background. Our job is to find whatever processes let's say this is a Rob Roblox process click on it right click and then click end task and then once all Roblox net related tasks are closed in the task manager you can restart the game and it should be able to run fine. If that doesn't work for you, you can also try changing your DNS server. Now uh, this might seem complicated but it's actually rather easy to do. What we have to do is open up the start menu and search for control panel. In here go to the network and sharing center. Then click on change adapter settings. Now this will show you the three networks that you're using. I'm using Ethernet right now, so I'll go with this. If you're using Wi-Fi, go with this. Basically select your network, right click on it and then click properties. A smaller box will open up. In this, scroll until you see IPv4, TCP IPv4. Click on properties once again and then click on use the following DNS server addresses. Now you can use any DNS server, any free DNS server that you want. I am using Google, so it's going to be 8888 and then the alternate would be 8.8.4.4. Uh, of course, feel free to use some other providers as well. Uh, I, I believe Cloudflare has a free DNS that you can use. Google's generally just works best. Once you're done making these settings, go ahead and save them by clicking OK. Uh, close all Roblox processes with the task manager once again and then restart the game and you should be able to get past any authentication errors that you might be facing. The next step is to delete the Roblox folder from your local app data cache. Now to do this, we will open the run prompt by pressing Windows key plus R and in here I am going to type percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again once you're there click enter once the folder is open scroll down until you see the roblox folder which should be right around here once you're here all you have to do is just right click and delete this folder even if it is empty so uh, you can just select this and i'm just going to shift delete get rid of this even if this folder is empty, uh, Roblox still uses it as a place to store its cached data. And if that cache data can get corrupted, uh, the game will run into problems very easily. So deleting this folder should help uh, Roblox create a new cache and that often resolves errors like this. Finally, if nothing else works, your best bet is to just go ahead and outright reinstall Roblox as well the good thing is that roblox is available on uh, the microsoft play store or microsoft store sorry so that you don't have to really go around looking for it on the internet if you want to uninstall it just press windows key plus x to open up the quick access menu and click on installed apps it's the first option on the list very hard to miss now uh, in the installed apps section i'm just going to search for roblox so that it makes my life easy and Roblox is right here. Go all the way to the other end, click more than three dots, and you will see a bunch of options here. Uh, we can go to advanced options, and uh, if you scroll down, you will, since it's an app that we can download from the Microsoft Store, you have a bunch of options to repair and reset the app if possible. Before you uninstall, I recommend that you try repairing the app's data, which is essentially an automated process of doing what we just did by deleting the local app data cache folder and it does some other stuff as well. 
and then if that doesn't work either you can try resetting it which means the app is installed but all of your data is deleted so that you sort of start fresh if that doesn't work either simply go ahead and click on the uninstall button windows will ask you once again are you sure we're sure go ahead and click on uninstall and the app should be gone from your system in no time practically once you're done with that you can come back to the microsoft store and search for roblox uh, as you can see it's just been uninstalled you will see this install button right here you can click on it install the app once again get everything up and running and that should fix your problem if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video